From your Canvas dashboard, find Start a New Course in the lower right hand corner. This new course will provide a place for us to keep the DC Everest template. So for course name, just type in DCE template, then select Create Course. Next, from the dashboard, click on Commons. Once in Commons, click on Filter. To narrow our results down, select DC Everest School District. Here you will find the DC Everest Master Template. Click on it. Next, select Import slash Download. Find the name of your course entitled DCE Template and click on it. Next, select Import into Course. You will receive a notification that you have successfully started the import. You can now return to your dashboard. After a few minutes, you can return to your dashboard and click on your DC Everest template course. This template is full of resources. We will start by customizing a home page. To get started with your customization, Click on Edit in the upper right hand corner. Begin by adding your course name in the green banner that resides at the top of the text box. Under the banner picture you will find a short welcome paragraph for you to customize to welcome students within your course. It is recommended that you keep the navigation tips within your text box to help new users as they become familiar with Canvas. It can be tricky to find the right size picture to fit in the banner space on the template, so we've created a keynote to help you. To begin, open the link to the Google Drive folder Here you will find several Canvas banner JPEGs that are already available for you to import into your course. You can download all of these and add them to your desktop or finder. In this folder you will find several images that are already set to be used as banners within your Canvas course. You will also find the complete keynote with all banners inserted for you to customize with fonts and a blank keynote for you to bring in your own images. Click on the Canvas Backgrounds Keynote. If you wish to add a text box with your course name, you can easily do this by clicking on text, changing the style to title, possibly increasing even more, and then simply type your course name. Next, you can export this as an image. Click on File, Export To, and select Images. You can change it so that you only select that one slide to export as an image. Next, decide where you would like that image to be saved. We've also included a blank keynote set to the correct size of the banner picture. Here, you can bring in your own photos to customize to the size of the slide. Select the photo you would like to use. And resize so it fits properly on the slide. Then follow the same steps to File, Export to Image, and choose where you would like that image to be saved.
Now you're ready to add that banner to your Canvas template course. Navigate back to the home page and click on edit in the upper right hand corner. Next, select or click on the banner photo. Then on the right hand side, click on images. Select upload a new image. Choose file. Find the photo that you created with the keynote presentation. Select choose. And because this is just, just a decorative image, just check decorative image and upload. And you should notice that the photo will switch to your new banner. Click save to preview. You can also customize the pictures and text on the buttons or navigation points within your Canvas course. Once again, access the link to the file that contains the keynote and images. Download those files to your computer. Open the Canvas Buttons keynote file. Change the text and the picture of each button if you wish. And once again, go to File, Export to, and select Images. Select all slides or individual slides, and where you would like them to be saved. Once again, navigate to your Canvas template course. Click Edit in the upper right-hand corner. Scroll down to where the buttons are located. Sometimes it helps to use your cursor. Click on the button that you would like to change. Once again, click on Images, upload a new image, choose File, locate where you have saved those images, select your corresponding image, and this time type in alternate, alternative text. This will help anyone who relies on accessibility features like Screen Reader. Upload and then save to see your changes. Next, on the left-hand side within the navigation options, click on Pages. Now, on the far right-hand side, click on the three dots, then select Share to Commons. Fill in the required information, including who can use this resource, just you or any of the DC Ever School District. You will have to title it, add a description and an image, and then select Share. You will once again receive a notification that your share was successful. You are now ready to bring your customized front page into your other DC Everest courses. Begin by clicking on Shared within Commons. Locate your template and click on it. Next, select Import slash Download and choose the course in which you would like to apply the template to. 